replacing a car that heralded a fresh, new start for a brand is quite an ominous task but this second generation Jaguar XF Saloon has proved more than up to the job. It is a more careful evolution of the four-door coupe shape, but it's one that's dramatic and bristling with subtle detailing. It remains more athletic than its key rivals too, such as the Audi A6, BMW 5 Series and Mercedes-Benz E-Class, let alone a more left-field choice like the Lexus GS. Lighter and more spacious despite being fractionally shorter and lower than the previous model, the Jaguar XF is significantly more spacious, thanks in a large part to a 51mm longer wheelbase, liberating more space for rear seat passengers. A 540-litre boot is also a welcome benefit. It doesn't set class benchmarks for cabin roominess, but it's capable of carrying two six-foot-tall adults in the back without them feeling cramped. Not only is the cabin more spacious, it's made to feel area too, thanks to a greater glass area, which includes a third side window just behind the rear doors. This effectively reduces the feeling of claustrophobia often felt by backseat passengers. This generation of Jaguar XF is 190 kilograms lighter than the previous model and the entry-level diesel model weighs 80 kilograms less than its nearest competitor. It's also more aerodynamic, drag coefficient of 0.26, which, combined with the weight reduction, lowers fuel consumption. Efficient suite of diesel and petrol engines There are eight engine options, four of which are diesels and these account for the bulk of XF sales. Available in three power outputs minus 163 horsepower, 180 horsepower and, with twin turbos, 240 horsepower, the 2.0 litre diesel motors deliver performance that's commensurate with the Jaguar name. Captivating performance isn't what the diesel XFs are all about though. Low running costs are the focus. Choose the 163 horsepower diesel with the standard 6 speed manual gearbox and rear wheel drive and Jaguar claims an average of 70.6 miles per gallon and CO2 emissions of 104 grams slash km, one of the lowest in this segment for a non-hybrid powertrain. If you prefer petrol, four-cylinder 2.0-liter turbo petrol engines are available with outputs of 200 horsepower, 250 horsepower and 300 horsepower, the most powerful XF with all-wheel drive. In fact, should you require the extra traction of all-wheel drive, 2.0 liter engines are your only option, V6 models are rear wheel drive only. All versions are paired with the excellent 8 speed automatic, which Jaguar expects to be the most popular option for the XF when combined with the 180 horsepower engine. Even in this guy's 65.7 miles per gallon is claimed, with emissions of 114 grams slash km for the rear wheel drive version. A 6 speed manual gearbox is available on the two lower power diesels. If you prefer using a clutch or want the lowest possible emissions, V6 versions badged XFS more performance is on offer with S specification Jaguar XF saloons, both are 3.0 litre capacity V6 engines, one a twin turbo diesel, the other a supercharged petrol shared with the F type, producing 300 horsepower and 380 horsepower, respectively. The 8 speed automatic is the only transmission choice with these two. Both will reach a governed 155 miles per hour, with the petrol version completing the 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint in 5.3 seconds, almost a second quicker than the V6 diesel 6.2 seconds. Outright efficiency isn't the petrol's strong point minus 34.0 miles per gallon and 198 grams slash km of CO2 reinforce that, but the diesel could well be within the budget of many motorists with the claimed 51.4 miles per gallon and emissions of 144 grams slash km. Improved handling and steering engaging handling regardless of version Jaguar has embraced the benefits of the XF's light, stiff body to enhance the car's handling and, despite its size, it feels nimble and lithe as you scythe through challenging bends. There's an electric power assisted steering system too that not only delivers an impressive degree of feel through the wheel it improves fuel efficiency by 3% over a conventional hydraulic alternative. Further, there are adaptive dampers to vary the sportiness of the handling, without compromising comfort and a much needed overhaul of the XF's infotainment features, with two versions of Jaguar's in-touch system available. The verdict we have a lot of time for the Jaguar XF. It's good to drive, and in the right color and trim, looks a million dollars. Is it a class-leading executive car, like the original XF was when it was launched? Sadly not, its range of abilities is too patchy, 
with the excellent dynamics and capable range of engines being compromised by the ultimate lack of interior quality. And when you're up against the BMW 5 Series and Mercedes-Benz E-Class, that's a problem. Read the full Jaguar XF Saloon review to find out why this sporty four-door executive is held in such high regard. Efficient four-cylinder petrols and diesels more powerful 3.0-litre twin-turbo diesel available best for performance is 3.0-litre supercharged petrol performance and efficiency for the Jaguar XF range is delivered from an eight-strong lineup of diesel and petrol engines. Popular selection of diesels powering the bulk of Jaguar XF saloons will be the firm's four-cylinder Ingenium family of diesels, designed to deliver class-leading efficiencies without sacrificing performance. Entry point to the XF range is the 2.0-litre diesel with 163 horsepower and 380 newton meters of torque from 1,750 revolutions per minute, with a choice of standard 6-speed manual and optional 8-speed automatic gearboxes. It's pleasingly brisk with a top speed of 132 miles per hour and a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 8.7 seconds, regardless of the transmission. Efficiency is where the transmission type makes a difference. The manual gearbox delivers class leading figures of acclaimed 70.6 miles per gallon and CO2 emissions of just 104 grams slash km, one of the best of any non hybrid car in this segment. Choose the 180 horsepower version of the engine badge 20d and top speed climbs to 136 miles per hour while at 8.1 seconds the automatic's acceleration from standstill to 62 miles per hour is a tenth of a second slower than the manual while the engine sound isn't particularly characterful in a sporty sense it's a refined smaller capacity diesel that feels flexible and linear in its power delivery when fitted with the auto box if you need the all-wheel drive traction of the 20d awd automatic Expect the top speed to remain pegged at 136 miles per hour, but the 0 to 62 miles per hour time stretches out to 8.4 seconds. Called the 25D, the same 2.0 litre engine fitted with two turbos produces 240 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque at 1,500 revolutions per minute. The automatic gearbox is standard, but regardless of whether you go for the rear wheel drive version or the 25D AWD, Performance is identical at 153 miles per hour with 6.5 seconds required for the 0 to 62 miles per hour on paper. Those stats render the 30D with its 300 horsepower 3.0 litre V6 twin turbo somewhat redundant. However, this motor is only available in S and portfolio trims and only with rear wheel drive. The automatic allows easy access to the engine's colossal 700 newton meters of torque. Whether from a standstill or already close to motorway speeds, Provoking the accelerator unleashes a surge of forward motion, allowing you to dispatch overtaking maneuvers with ease. Electronically governed at 155 miles per hour, sprinting from 0 to 62 miles per hour takes just 6.4 seconds yet Jaguar claims this XF will average 51.4 miles per gallon while CO2 emissions are a surprisingly modest 144 grams slash km. Quartet of petrol alternatives Jaguar expanded its petrol range in early 2017 with 2.0-litre, four-cylinder turbocharged and genium units. All are fitted with the 8-speed automatic transmission. Producing 200 horsepower and 320 newton meters of torque from 1,200 revolutions per minute is the 20 tons. It's rear-wheel drive only and has a top speed of 146 miles per hour with a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 7.5 seconds. Power of the same basic engine is rammed up to 250 horsepower for the 25 tons, with torque increased to 365 newton meters. Rear and all-wheel drive minus 25 tons AWD, permutations are available, both with 0 to 62 miles per hour times of 6.6 .6 seconds. Top speeds differ though, RWD is 152 miles per hour. AWD 147 miles per hour at the top of the four-cylinder petrol range is the 30p, with 300 horsepower and 400 newton meters. Only offered in our sport or portfolio trim, this reaches 62 miles per hour in 5.8 seconds, and will carry on to a limited 155 miles per hour Jaguar claim 40 miles per gallon for this version, with emissions of 163 grams slash km. XFS delivers ultimate performance. The ultimate XF in terms of performance is the petrol 3.0 litre V6. 
This supercharged 380 horsepower unit delivers 450 newton meters of torque to the rear wheels from a relatively high 4,500 revolutions per minute. While this means you have to work the engine hard to extract the most from it, it's at these high revs where the sound's much more dramatic. You can hear the supercharger in action as you hold on to each gear ratio, maximizing performance. While it's fast and very entertaining to drive like this we think the punchier diesel version, with its slow down torque, suits day to day driving in the XF a little better. However, when you opt to drive the petrol XF gently the engine note is more hushed and docile at urban speeds. Once again the top speed is electronically limited to 155 miles per hour, but the 0 to 62 miles per hour time has no restrictions, taking just 5.3 seconds to complete the test. You'll pay at the pumps though with a claim of 34.0 miles per gallon and CO2 emissions of 198 grams slash km. Lightweight aluminium body makes for agile handling buyers can choose different suspension setups revised steering delivers rewarding drive employing lighter weight aluminium for the body not only makes the Jaguar XF particularly light and stiff, the resultant side effect is improved handling over the outgoing version. Comfort and agility this only tells part of the story though. For Jaguar has long been lauded for the comfort of its cars and the XF is no different, choosing the optimum suspension setup helps. The double wishbone front suspension is designed in such a way that maximizes tire contact with the road whether in a straight line or cornering, delivering agility that belies the XF size. At the rear is an integral link system that allowed Jaguar's engineers greater control over both handling characteristics and ride quality. It feels uncanny that a car which changes direction with such poise can ensure its passengers remain unruffled. Different suspension setups available standard fit suspension dampers have been improved so that the faster you go, the stiffer they become to aid handling. Adaptive dampers are also available, enhancing the experience further still. Even in its firmest setting the XF transmits few serious bumps through to the cabin, yet it feels even more composed and confidence inspiring through high speed corners. Configurable dynamics, available on V6 engine versions, allows the driver to further adjust throttle response, gear change points and steering weight in addition to the suspension. Rewarding to drive the XF steering is now an electrically power assisted system for greater fuel efficiency, and it feels immediate, accurate and with well weighted responses. Steering action is further enhanced with torque vectoring by braking, DVBB, another technology seen first in the range on the F-Type which gently breaks the inside wheels through bends mitigating the chances of the XF pushing wide into understeer. The brakes feel impressive too, delivering excellent retardation with negligible evidence of fading despite repeated heavy use. They're easy to modulate too, permitting gentle slowing. Cabin lacks the original XF's wow factor remains a luxurious place to spend time in Control Touch Pro Multimedia Pack impressed this second generation Jaguar XF's interior is impressive but it lacks the theater of its predecessor. Those revolving air vents live on but now only the outer ones feature this startup drama as the central pair is slender and fixed, they don't even rise in a pod like the F-types. They've moved for functional reasons, though as the cutout and the dash is a one-size-fits-all slot for both the 8.0-inch in-control multimedia system and the new, in-control touch pro system with its 10.2-inch touch screen. Both systems offer a greater clarity of graphics than seen in the previous XF, the screen is more responsive to touches and there's greater connectivity than before, including a Wi-Fi hotspot with up to 8 connections. If you upgrade to the touch pro system, your clear and well-presented analog dials with a small digital screen between them are replaced by a 12.3-inch screen as per the Jaguar XJ. The XF second evolution, though, features sharper graphics and continues to be adaptable in its appearance. Elsewhere the remainder of the cabin looks like a combination of old XF, particularly with the broad aluminium plinths across the dash, and the latest XJ with the Reva hoop dash that line of veneered trim, that splays from the doors and runs around the base of the windscreen. Only portfolio models have a leather swathed dashboard, the remainder have a heavily grained soft touch plastic that looks a little too coarse in texture for the sophisticated interior. Also debuting on the XF is laser based head up display, HUD, unit, projecting extremely sharp and colorful graphics for speed and sat nav instructions direction onto the windscreen. The unit itself looks rather crudely grafted onto the top of the instrument binnacle. Easier to get into the more spacious cabin rivals remain roomier, 
Though adaptive suspension Cossett's passenger's Jaguar XF Comfort was already well regarded and this iteration takes this to a new level. Most obvious is the increased interior space, despite the overall reduction in the XF's length and height. A sizable 51mm wheelbase increase has liberated more room for passengers, particularly in the back, while lowering the seat itself has increased headroom too. The Jaguar XF will now genuinely carry four six-foot tall adults with relative ease. Three adults abreast on the back seat might remain a trickier proposition, though. Those seats themselves are new to this generation XF and look tauter and sportier, but are no less comfortable for it. The XF's stiffer body makes it inherently quieter inside with less chance for squeaks and rattles to develop, while the soft closed door option prevents louder slams. The cabin is lighter and more airy thanks to an increased glass area, including a third side window behind the rear door. The added benefit of which is the door itself can be more upright in shape making getting in and out easier. Two damper types are offered with the Jaguar XF suspension. The standard dampers provide a more supple ride at lower speeds, and a stiffer one at high speeds to aid handling to prevent the car wallowing along over motorway undulations. While it's effective the superior adaptive dampers allow drivers to switch between different levels of firmness. Even in sport mode, while the ride isn't quite as cosseting as in comfort mode it's still pleasantly supple. Even the XFS, with its improved handling, doesn't ask you to compromise on comfort. Despite delivering a more agile, sharper drive, the fastest version of Jaguar's saloon is a smooth rider on all but the most broken surfaces. Decent levels of standard equipment across the range all have modern finishes except the traditional portfolio and array of expensive options helps you tailor the spec there are four familiar Jaguar trim levels in the XF hierarchy, Prestige, R-Sport, Portfolio and S. Standard Jaguar XF saloon equipment entry trim is the grandly titled Prestige grade which secures, chrome surround to the front grille and side vents rear parking sensors 17 inch lightweight alloy wheels by xenon headlamps with integral led day running lights and indicators auto lights and wipers keyless ignition cruise control with speed limiter leather seats with an electric recline on the heated front pair leather wrapped multifunction steering wheel automatically dimming rear view mirror aluminium dashboard trim complemented by a gloss black veneer and control infotainment system with an 8.0 inch touch screen with R Sport the offer is, unsurprisingly, more focused towards a more athletic image, our sport body kit and spoiler dark satin exterior finish 17-inch turbine or 18-inch helix alloys stiffer sports suspension arrangement leather seats with contrasting stitching dark headlining metal finish pedals portfolio specification introduces a series of additional luxury touches in a manner more associated with Jaguar saloons of old. Electrically heated windscreen keyless entry reversing camera front parking sensors automatically dimming and folding door mirrors 17-inch aerodynamic alloys or 18-inch fan design on more powerful models leather seats, electrically adjustable in the front leather dashboard with shiny figured ebony trim luxurious carpet mats 380-watt meridian sound system topping the range are the V6 engined S models, which combine elements of both the R Sport and portfolio as well as their own unique touches. More aggressive S-body kit adaptive dynamic sports suspension 19-inch razor alloy wheels red brake calipers electrically adjustable sports seats 40 hours 20 minutes 40 seconds split rear seats dark hex aluminium trim finish matte grey figured ebony veneered trims optional Jaguar XF saloon accessories One aspect of the Jaguar XF specification makeup is that, like its German rivals, there's so much in terms of extra cost options that are standard on less expensive cars. Individual options depends on the trim level you're adding to, but highlights include metallic and premium palette paints, a suite of alloy wheel choices up to 20 inches in diameter, different color leather, aluminium trim and veneer options. Plus you can add adaptive cruise control with braking function, adaptive suspension, self-parking function, an electric sunroof and, the first Jaguar to have them, full LED headlamps. Additionally a range of bundles are available grouping popular options together in a better value package, active safety pack, a combination of adaptive cruise control, lane keep aid and driver condition monitoring to assess a driver's tiredness, lane change merge aid and cross traffic alert when easing backwards out of parking bays advanced parking assist pack with surround camera system, in addition to the front parking sensors, the pack includes a 360 degree camera view, with self park function park exit facility and junction view camera allowing you to see left and right as you nose out of tight spaces black pack, only available on our sport and S versions, it includes a gloss black grille surround and front wing vents and, for the R sport, 
gloss black front bumper blades and boot lid spoiler cold climate pack, comprises of an electrically heated windscreen plus heating elements for the washer jets, steering wheel and front and rear seats head up display pack, laser based head up display, HUD. Function with an infrared reflecting windscreen and control touch pro pack with Meridian digital sound system, includes an upgraded 10 inch infotainment touch screen and a 12.3 inch adaptable digital instrument display with either 380 watts or 825 watts of power for the upgraded sound system memory pack with power fold mirrors, automatically dimming and electrically folding door mirrors, complete with puddle lamps. Fully adjustable electric front seats have a memory function too. The latter only on the driver's side for Prestige and R Sport XF's parking pack. Exclusively on the Prestige trim it includes front parking sensors and a reversing camera power convenience pack, keyless entry and start function, combined with an electrically opening and closing boot lid, with two additional 12 volt sockets, one in the boot itself, the other in the rear of the car rear comfort pack. Heated front and rear seats are complemented by four zone climate control, manual blinds on the rear doors and an electric blind for the rear window. Full 5 star crash test score from Euron Cap and inherently safe executive saloon further safety kit is optionally available when crash tested by the safety experts at Euron Cap. Jaguar XF was awarded a full 5 star rating. All XFs are equipped with 6 airbags, electronic stability control, lane departure warning, pedestrian contact sensing bonnet, all surface progress control, extra traction at low speeds for automatic versions. Traffic sign recognition and a pair of iSofix child seat mounting points in the back. A suite of further options are available in two of the optional packages. Integral to the advanced parking assist option is a 360 degree camera function, including self park and drive out facilities, as well as a junction view camera which splits the screen to show what's to the left and right as you ease out of obscured junctions. Second is the appropriately titled Active Safety Pack which includes adaptive cruise control to monitor the speed of the vehicles in front, as well as lane keep aid, LKA, and driver condition monitoring, DCM, to measure the apparent state of alertness of the driver. A reverse traffic detect feature, sensing the oncoming presence of vehicles as you back out of a parking space, is also integral to this pack. More space for people and luggage this time around top spec models have a 40 hours 20 minutes 40 seconds split rear seat plenty of storage cubbies in the upmarket cabin given the sleekness of its four door coupe like profile you'd be forgiven for imagining Jaguar XF practicality might not be particularly impressive. There's a handful of usefully sized storage areas. There's a rubber back twirl in front of the gear lever, a pair of cup holders in the center console and a hinged armrest which also reveals a couple of USB ports and a 12 volt charging point rear parking sensors come as part of the package of all models, while higher end trims additionally feature a complementary set at the front and a reversing camera too. A 360 degree camera system and self parking can be added at extra cost. This generation of XF features a larger aperture than before allowing better access to the 540 liter capacity boot. As standard all portfolio and S specification models, optional on the others, have a 40 hours 20 minutes 40 seconds split rear seat back, allowing longer, more awkward loads to be carried with these. An electric boot lid is available or standard, depending on the trim, the same for keyless entry, although all XFs are started at the push of a button.